2021 quarterback draft rankings, our favorite time of the season. We love talking quarterbacks. And listen, I'm going to go straight into it. My top five are as goes. Number one is Trevor Lawrence. Number two is Zach Wilson. Three is Mac Jones. Four is Trey Lance. And five is Justin Fields. For people that are listening to the audio on Apple or Spotify or any um, streaming platform that you're listening to it on, you can't see this, but right now I'm showing the viewers my notebook. This is my notebook. I have over like 20 pages written on each prospect. I'm flipping the pages right now. You can possibly hear that. I have a lot of notes on these guys, so this is not just me talking out of my ass. This is actually me really studying and looking at these quarterbacks and, and saying something like, you know, I, I put a lot of pride into this and this is the first time that I actually did this much work extensively to study a quarterback. So now we're going to get into it. We're going to talk about number one and uh, Trevor Lawrence. I'm going to go from one to five. I know some people go from five to one, but we're going to go from one to five. So Trevor Lawrence, see, these are his pros. I mean, his size, of course, he's six foot six, right? His quickness popped off on film. Like Trevor Lawrence is 6'6", six, six, but his running ability is, is very legit. You can run a lot of quarterback design runs for him. Tony Elliott did that at Clemson. Like his quickness is legit, and that's why he's so slippery in the pocket and he's able to evade pressure because he's really quick. And that that's something that I said, wow, I didn't know a guy this size, 6'6", six, six, can be this quick. It was It was surprising on film. Then what I like like about him, too, is that he's always looking to throw. In the pocket, usually when quarterbacks have that athletic edge, when their first read isn't there, they tend to scramble a ton. They tend to not look at their other progressions. But what I like about Trevor Lawrence is that he's always looking down the field. He's always looking to pass. And that's something that I think is going to translate into the NFL, NFL. Also, he's stepping up in the pocket all the time. When you look at Trevor Lawrence's footwork, it is pretty good. At times, you say, damn, that's just amazing. I mean, the way he's in the pocket, he's always holding the ball, staying upright. His feet are always moving, kind of like a boxer in the ring that, you know, is always moving. That's how Trevor Lawrence is, and he's always stepping up. He's always sliding. He really maneuvers the pocket well, and that's what popped out as well. And then his, his arm strength, he has a really good arm. I wouldn't say it's great. I don't think it's Mahomes level or Josh Allen. He doesn't have that type of arm, but Trevor Lawrence has a strong arm. I think he has a strong arm and also his toughness. I think Trevor Lawrence, he doesn't look to slide much, which is probably a negative for most people, but he lowers his shoulder. He gets into you and he's just a competitor. He's a leader. The escapability from him also stood out to me on film and off platform throws on film. He, throws the ball off his back foot a lot, which is something that you're taught not to do. But when he throws it off his back foot, he tends to complete the pass and he tends to always lead his receiver in stride. Like he's insanely precise and accurate when it comes to that at times, you know, because it's not all the time that it, ha that it happens. And he stays calm under pressure. And like I said earlier, his feet are always set in the pocket. He's very light on his feet. The cons about Trevor Lawrence, and these are more than you may think they're going to be for Trevor Lawrence, but he misses easy throws. There are times when he misses flats. There are times when he just doesn't have enough air on the ball, and it's not even a deep pass. It's just maybe a 15 to 20-yard pass, and there's just not enough air on the ball. Also, his footwork, although at times it does flash, it isn't where I'd like it to be. There are times when Trevor Lawrence make throw, makes throws and his feet are all over the place. I mean, his back foot is like leading toward the other end zone and his other foot, his left foot is not, you know, leading, is not pointing towards where the receiver is. So that can cause some accuracy issues. But because Trevor Lawrence is a freak of a prospect and a quarterback, I mean, he's usually accurate on those throws, but his footwork, they could it could be a little bit better. He also overstrides, which is a problem that Carson Wentz had this past season. He overstrides, and if you guys don't know what that is, it's basically when your feet and your legs are really apart from each other, and when you go to throw the ball, you kind of extend way too much. That's what overstriding is. And also, Clemson had a really gimmicky offense 
a lot of screens, a lot of short passes. They didn't ask Trevor Lawrence to make a lot of off-schedule plays. And also because Clemson is so dang, dang good, he didn't have to make so many off-schedule plays. A lot of the stuff was pretty much there for him at Clemson. But the good thing is that it wasn't a one-read offense type of thing that Ohio State has. He did go through his progressions enough in Clemson for me to say, okay, I think he can do that at the next level. And also, he has a tendency to throw off his back foot, which I mentioned as a pro in, a, in, a, in, in the pros, but that, that's also a con. When you throw on your back foot a lot, I mean, in college, you can definitely get away with it, but in the NFL with better athletes, I, I'm not too... I'm very concerned about that and how he throws off his back foot a lot of the times. And also, he has inconsistent mechanics. Um, The game that popped out to me the most in terms of mechanics, Notre Dame, even though he won the MVP that game, Notre Dame wasn't a fantastic or special game from Trevor Lawrence. It was a lot of stuff there. There was a lot of misses there that I wasn't too fond of. Then against Ohio State, though, you know, versus Justin Fields just just a couple months ago, that game was very bad. And I don't even think it's all because of Trevor Lawrence, because I think that game, Clemson's offense was very predictable. Tony Elliott missed the game, so they had another offensive coordinator step in, and he didn't call a good game at all. Even though it was an ugly game, I don't put too much weight on Trevor Lawrence for that game because... I don't think he could have done much to really succeed. I mean, the offense was very predictable. Then, of course, the best game of Lawrence's career probably was Lawrence against Alabama when he was a true freshman and won the national championship. In that game, there was a lot of flashes. I mean, there was a lot of flashes. But he he also did get bailed out by his receivers, and he did have some potential interceptions that just weren't capitalized on by the defenders. So because of that, you know, I think... Trevor Lawrence, although he's a great prospect, the reason I have him number one, I'll be honest, is because I didn't truly study him before I made this list. I put him number one off the assumption that he should be number one based off what everybody's saying. But I don't think Trevor Lawrence is generational. I don't think he's Andrew Luck, and I don't think he's Payne Manning. I think Trevor Lawrence's pro comparison is Carson Wentz. Because of the inconsistent mechanics, the problems with footwork, his overstriding, and also I think he has a good arm. It's a, it's a pretty great arm, but it's not it's not a spectacular arm. I don't think he is among those quarterbacks and also in terms of Andrew Luck, like Andrew Luck coming out of college, he was different. And I saw him, I was old enough to see him then. He was a different type of guy. I think Trevor Lawrence compares more to Carson Wentz because of uh, the traits that he has and because of his athletic ability. I think he can really run. He has Carson Wentz-like athletic ability, and I'd even say he's more athletic than Carson Wentz. So because of that, that's my pro comparison for Trevor Lawrence. Like I said, I think he's going to be a franchise quarterback. I love Trevor Lawrence, but I do think there's a lot of issues with him in terms of mechanics and footwork. That can be worked on, though, because he did show flashes in a bunch of other areas, so it's not like he's not he's not worthy of being number one because he definitely is. It's just that I don't think he's generational as everybody thinks he is. I, I, I just don't subscribe to that line of thinking.